So how long ago was 1983 when I worked with RS-232? That was a long time ago. It's now 2023. That was 40 years ago. In 40 years, I forgot something very important. And here's what it is. Do you see this cable here? These two wires twisted are something called a null modem. And that is what's missing in my cable here. So I've been trying to run this Pegasus one with this RS-232 adapter and I couldn't get it to work and I kept thinking it's broken. Even replaced the uh, driver chip here. I still couldn't make it work. Then I finally debugging here. And I finally remember by looking at this diagram, I need to get a null modem and put that on here. I need to put a plug on here that reverses those two wires and things will work. I think the uh, Omni 6 I used with this same cable worked fine. So I just wasn't used to the Paragon being fussy, but it is fussy. So I'm now typing up Amazon and look for a null modem. See if I can find one. Null modem. What do we got there? Oh, look at that. So there are bazillions of null modems here. Of course, I need a big one for a big plug here. A 24 banger plug or 25 banger plug. So I don't see any for me. Huh. I guess I could just switch the wires. There's one right there. Ta-da! That's what I need right there. That is what I need right there. No modem. So to make this work, I've already spent uh, 14 bucks on a chip, eight bucks on a null modem. That's how life is. All right, I'm gonna get a null modem, connect it up to this Paragon and put the boards back in and see if I get lucky with this thing. Thanks for watching, have a good day. Yeah, this is about getting the, uh, the RS-232 to work. I guess there was nothing wrong with it. I just needed a null modem. Take care.